This is it, the Retro Pie build. I've been waiting to do this one for a long time. You might have noticed that I just got Nintendo games on here. I just wanted to get some games on here for testing. I'll be adding more later. Hey everybody, let's get this party started. The build is super easy. Just four screws and a couple of heat sinks. Snap it all together and you are done. I got the RetroPie kit from eBay. It was about $62 and it had everything I needed except for some joysticks, which I already had, so I didn't have to worry about that. Setting up the RetroPie is also very easy. You just plug in a joystick, an HDMI cable to your monitor, and the power, and you are good to go. After a few minutes, 
and the Retropod has booted up completely, you'll be uh, greeted to a welcome screen. At this time, you have the option to configure your buttons for your joystick. I would do this. RetroPie recognizes pretty much every kind of USB joystick or gamepad. I messed up a couple of times when I was mapping the buttons. It's fine, you can just remap them as many times as you want till you get it right. Now you can move over to your PC. Make sure to format your flash drive and create a folder that is called RetroPie. This is very important. I cannot stress this enough. I screwed up and did not create this folder. And every time I plugged in the flash drive, I pretty much sat there and did nothing. Uh, once you put that folder in correctly though, it should flash like a maniac. Basically, the RetroPie is putting in all the folders of all the games that it supports in the correct format. Once this is done, you can put the flash drive back in your PC so you can move your ROMs over to the correct folders. Here's another mistake I made. I put them in the SNES folder, but I was putting uh, Nintendo games. Uh, so I found that problem out and corrected it and put them in the NES folder. You wanna make sure that when you're downloading your ROMs that you name the system that they are uh, going to be used on and that will make it much easier to move the ROMs into proper folders. You don't need Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on the RetroPie side since everything you need has already been loaded. Now as far as game ROMs are concerned, you will need some internet, at least on the PC side. Anyway, that's my build. It's as far as I'm going to go for now. I'm going to build a cabinet eventually, a bar top cabinet for my retro pie and install some joysticks, but that's a whole nother project. You might want to hit pause on this background. It is a special website that I love to go to. Enough said. Your 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it real.